practices for maintaining awareness i'm going to break down the experiences into various categories so that it is easy for us to handle each of them separately it is very easy to maintain the awareness when you are alone in your room sitting quietly with your eyes closed there are no challenges here but at, as soon as you come out of the room the awareness evaporates very quickly and we are back to our habitual behavior which uh, we are doing since many years so it is all happening in darkness it is actually irrelevant if your life is full of suffering or full of joy if it is happening in darkness they are one and the same and if the same things are happening in awareness they are blissful the first thing you should notice in the world outside is that all of it is false there is nothing which is absolutely true here and this will bring in the awareness it is like struggling in darkness and suddenly somebody turns on the light you can see clearly and you go exactly where you want to go you do exactly that which is useful for you the difference between an aware life and unaware life is like a movie that you are watching but uh, you know it fully that it is a movie everything that is happening on the screen is false the good people are false the bad people are false and the monsters are just images all the emotions and drama is false and unawareness is like watching the same movie assuming that everything is true there the movie is exactly the same only that this time there is a complete ignorance and so whatever happens in the movie directly affects the person and that is why we keep this attitude that everything here is false it is a dream and then you proceed to do whatever you like to do in the dream fully knowing that there will be consequences fully knowing that your dream depends on the actions it is not a random dream and who am i in this dream not this body the body is a dream character not this mind it is just software that runs this body i am only the observer i am the one which is uh, looking at the movie and more interestingly i am the screen on which the movie is happening so ultimately it is me the realization that uh, whatever i see is false i am not this body mind or any other object makes us detached from our experiences and the knowledge that it is all me gives us a responsibility to behave correctly here both of these uh, realizations should be present even before you take up the advanced practices this realization that uh, i don't belong to this world and this world is um, an illusion will bring up the awareness but it may not bring up the intelligence and so some people thinking that it is my playground they start behaving in abnormal ways and needless to say it has consequences it not only causes suffering to others the suffering is then reflected back to this instrument so awareness and intelligence are two separate things one can be intelligent and act responsibly without any awareness that is perfectly okay and one can be totally aware and act foolishly which is worse than being aware this is a result of uh, half knowledge which says that i am only an observer the world is a dream so i'll do whatever i want if you are the observer then there is no question of doing anything so this statement is coming from the ego actually the ego is saying i'll do whatever i want not the observer the observer says nothing so this happens in people who have half knowledge who have just heard the teaching but do not understand it completely there is still this identification present in with the body and mind this entity has not been seen yet which is now trying to use this new found knowledge for its benefit that means there is a fake awareness not a real awareness this backdoor entry of the ego will be seen by the real awareness usually 
awareness should purify the intelligence automatically but it can take some time and whenever in doubt you should consult your teacher so we are going to develop this intelligence that is necessary to act wisely in the world with full awareness act wisely in all domains of your life which i am calling as domains of awareness here and there are four major categories here the first is the surrounding or environment the second is people and animals the third is the body and the fourth is the activity of the higher layers of the memory as you must have noticed that the environment people and animals they form a lower layer and the body is above them and the rest of the layers are above it so instead of taking the whole structure i am dividing it into four big categories a big part of our life is our environment the place that we live in the places that we visit the roads and the nature around us if you are doing these practices you should become aware of all these things pay attention to what is really going on in your environment is it beautiful is it ugly is it clean is it dirty is it fresh or is it smelly now check your reaction to the environment around you which one makes you feel good what kind of environment you like most just become aware of it and don't worry about the actions i am not telling you to act here just remain aware the actions will happen automatically when the awareness reaches a certain level the action will be manifested just check what is the effect of the environment on the body and your internal peace the second is people most of our interactions with people they happen in complete darkness whatever we call as behavior is nothing more than reactions the ego reacts in a pre-programmed way now again i am not telling you to change your behavior or do something else instead of your usual behavior just become aware become aware of people what they do what they say how they behave don't try to tell them that look i noticed your behavior and it is such and such if there is no need you should not speak or preach just note it just become aware you will very quickly see that who is lying who really likes you who is faking it who is trying to use you who is stupid and who is wise just become aware and you will see all of these qualities they will be revealed to you we are not so much affected by the environment compared to the people around us they are continuously affecting us normally we don't pay attention normally we are not aware of this thing so now see the impact of uh, people's behaviors and their actions on yourself somebody said something and there will be reaction in you i am not telling you to change it just observe it the necessary change will happen by itself remember there is no doer there to change anything the change was happening before also but it was happening in complete darkness there was no direction to it because of the awareness the change will happen in light of awareness and it will be directed to the place which is most logical and rational when you start seeing the impact of others actions on yourself you will find that your behavior will change automatically you will know whom to avoid you will know whom to approach you will know how to defend yourself and you will know how to attack others and then you need to pay attention to the behavior of the crowd and society in general check what is going on in the society it is a big mad house and you don't need to fix anything you don't don't need to change anything just become aware of what is going on do not get involved in the affairs of the people and society and the world a seeker is not concerned with these things just pay attention just become aware of what is happening whenever you see yourself being forced to fix something in the society to act for the benefit or loss of the society just become aware of that tendency also and you will find that it is implanted in you by the society it is not yours you will start seeing the indoctrination that has happened through the society and your family when you are so aware and that will free you from the indoctrination slowly and surely without doing anything 
If you do something, that means the awareness is already gone. Become aware of the animals around you. Are they harmful? Yes. Then you should stay away from them. Keep them away. Are they filthy? Become aware if you are caging them or tying them with a leash. Become aware if there is cruelty or the animals are being used for pleasure or slavery. Become aware that they also have this memory structure behind them just like other people. Probably it is not so complex but there is. There are activities of pleasure and pain in them also. There are activities of emotions and intellect in them also. They also have desires and all. Become aware of the body. Know what is this body. Know that it is a pile of organic matter arranged as organs, structures made up of cells. That's all it is. See that it cannot be called as me or mine. It is an arising in the experience and it will be dissolved. This will slowly get rid of attachment to the body. Now, if there is a desire to keep the body, which will be there in any healthy person, physically and mentally healthy person will desire the body. So if it is not me, what should I do with it? Because there is this desire to keep the body, to have this experience. For as long as it lasts, you will need to pay attention to the needs of the body and see that the body itself is fulfilling them. There is no need to interfere in that. The only mistake you can make here is that think that I am not the body and so I don't need to do anything for it. This is half knowledge. This is not uh, really wise. This is stupidity. Because you are not the body, that is correct. But you are not the doer of anything also. The body does whatever it does. And if there are actions that happen because of this wrong knowledge, because of this ignorance, then I am not the body, then it will have consequences, good or bad. That is not our aim. Our aim is simply awareness. The rest can happen as it happens, as usual. Pay attention to the needs of the body. Become aware of the tendencies of the body. Because of this awareness, if something goes in extreme, it will be minimized. The awareness will help to maintain the balance in the activity and tendency of the body. Become aware of the food habits or the sleep patterns and simple activities of the body like excretion. If the body is being used for pleasure only, become aware of it. If the body is addicted to substances, become aware of this addiction. If the body is weak and lazy, become aware of that. See, there is a need to exercise. There is a need, a need to give up the addictions. And there is a need to prevent the misuse of the body for pleasure. Become aware of these things. And they will manifest automatically. If they do not, do not scold yourself. Because that is just more activity. That is the good part of the personality, scolding the bad part of the personality. It is totally ineffective. What is effective is awareness. Check the health of the body. Look for the diseases that are present but are not attended to because of this darkness, lack of awareness. Then pay attention and become aware of over-attachment to the body, which is habitual because since childhood we are thinking that the body is me. Become aware of the unnecessary expenditure that is happening on the body without any real benefits. The body needs good clothes and the body needs a good soap to remain clean and beautiful. Become aware if you are spending most of your income on the body. Become aware if you are showing it off by putting on tons of makeup on it or by buying expensive clothes to impress others. This will be a case for people for whom the body is everything in their life. They don't have any other important thing to do, so the body takes the full attention. If this is happening, just become aware of it. All that is unnecessary will drop off automatically. Just shine the light of awareness on over-attachment to the body. Pay attention when there are tendencies that see people as bodies instead of a person. When you see people as objects to be used, then it can have consequences. Try to see people not as bodies, but there is a complete personality behind that body. There are many layers above the layer of this body. 
try to become aware of that which is behind that body which is being expressed through that body the body of the other person should become transparent for you should look through the outer coverings and also become aware of the body of the other person are the body centric are they showing it off is it heavily decorated and artificial and fake is the whole of their personality buried under fakeness of this body just become aware of all these things about the body your own and others in the layer just above the body is pleasure and pain these are the automatic actions in the nervous system whenever the survival needs are met the body produces the signals of pleasure when the survival needs are not met or if the body is damaged it produces signals of pain just above it is the mechanisms of reward and punishment become aware of them if i received a reward from the body if i did something for it you should become aware that this has happened and if you received a punishment because some mistake happened you should become aware that this has also happened the rewards are not for me and the punishment is also not for me i am simply an observer of these activities of these middle layers see that these are the motives for bodily actions otherwise the body is not going to do anything it will just sit like a rock some people have this half knowledge that if i become aware i won't be able to enjoy anything and i'll just ignore the pain also because i know it is illusion it is just signals in the body so this kind of stupidity can arise if uh, there is no real awareness you will find that the body and this mechan whole instrument does whatever is necessary under the light of the awareness that's all will happen you don't need to really mess into the workings of the body and the reward and punishment system let it happen as it happens but let it happen in awareness there is no need to mess with it the pain is there now go and take a medicine go to the doctor and it is most logical thing to do fully knowing there is no doer it must happen this way and if something else happens instead of the natural action which is the avoidance of the pain then become aware that the knowledge has become an affliction for you you have misunderstood the teachings of awareness the awareness does not demand a change in behavior it demands that the light be present that's all this is not really demand it is a natural state not being aware is unnatural so your pleasure pain and punishments and rewards they are not going to disappear if you become aware yes the long term suffering which is artificial may disappear there will be pain but it is not going to stick to you it will come and it will go there will be pleasure but there will be no suffering because i am not getting the pleasure now the pleasure will happen whenever it happens naturally this clinging this suffering may end which is unnecessary and should end if that does not happen then probably there is some problem in your awareness practice addictions to pleasure should disappear the pleasure will be there but the compulsions and impulses will be gone because they will be seen in the light of awareness instead of impulsive behavior there will be peaceful behavior the ego is going to cry here no no i want the pleasure i don't want the pleasure to disappear from my life because of this stupid thing called spirituality and this is the cry of the ego which knows nothing about spirituality it only knows pleasure and pain and survival become aware of this drama also if there is an action on this dramatic reaction of the ego that means the awareness has already left you now if you become intensely aware of the body the first thing you will notice is that it is full of emotions you will see all the emotions appearing in the body because they are very much close to the body they are connected to the body and the emotions are also connected to pleasure and pain and reward and punishment systems a reward produces a good emotion punishment produces a bad emotion and see the emotions as the motivators of actions become alert and aware as soon as the emotions arise the next thing you know will be an action you know this very well so before the action happens you will become aware of it if you become aware of the emotions and it does not matter what is the action you become aware simply let the action 
be there watch the action and you will see a surprising effect here that the actions that are unnecessary will be delayed sometimes you use the will power to delay the actions or reactions because now it is possible because there is awareness now it will become possible to delay the habitual impulsive reactions most of the people they do not act they simply react to their emotions they simply obey whatever emotions are telling them you can use simple devices like uh, attend to the breath or count backwards or invoke the mantra and this can help to clear the emotion before the action happens now your actions will be more logical and rational instead of impulsive you don't need to kill the emotions let it arise and let it subside see that these are very natural activities of the memory just keep reminding yourself that these are the lower tendencies most of the emotions are completely useless they were useful when we were animals the fear the anger the lust jealousy all these things are now useless we have evolved beyond these just see that they are animalistic tendencies which are still present you don't need to remove them don't need to kill the emotion you simply become aware don't interfere and if they are too intense then you will need to use your will power to delay the action there will be some action because now there is emotion so but the action will be very subdued it will be only that much which is necessary and it will be logical intelligent and rational action if you are aware of your emotions you will get some time to think and to delay your decisions which are usually just knee jerk responses for a common man now the ego is going to cry again no no i want this pleasant emotions and i want all the love and joy that i experience as emotions so don't worry they will not be destroyed the feelings emotions everything will happen it will happen in the light of awareness if you find yourself taking actions to bring in the emotions or to resist the awareness or to kill the emotions that means the awareness has left you and the benefit of this practice is that the suffering caused by the emotions which is totally unnecessary and the mistakes we make when we act under the influence of the emotions that will be destroyed that will go away a purification happens now instead of emotions you will find that there is happiness and peace the emotions come and go and then the background of happiness and peace remains that cannot go that will not go away you will find that most of the emotions are being produced by the desires which is another layer in the memory attend to the desires as soon as the desire arises become aware of it sometimes you will become aware of the desire even before it produces any consequences in this whole structure of the memory usually the desire ends up as an action which happens through this body if you become aware of the desires it is like stopping the flow of the river at the source of the river when it is tiny when it's just a puddle of water stopping your actions when they are at the level of the emotions or ego is just like building a big dam over a big river it's very difficult but the desires are very subtle and so it is possible to control all the actions if you become aware of the desires remember our objective the objective is to gain complete control over all the activities and this is the source of the activity the desires they arise as an impulse to do something become aware of these impulses and you will find that it is like a rain as soon as you get up in the morning the rain begins the rain is the desires are raining on us as soon as you become aware of this desire or that desire and you think it is not necessary there is no need to act on it this can be achieved simply by becoming aware the intellect will notice that it is not important and so it will disappear then the ego is going to cry here again no no i am going to become like a rock a dead body without the desires don't worry the desires will be there as usual only that there will be control over them or you find yourself having this kind of fear that i'll become a nobody without the desires it means you don't have any awareness or it means you did not even understand the teaching 
we do not control anything the control appears when there is awareness that is all you will see actions are not awareness so when i say delay the gratification of desires it does not mean that it is an action it will happen as soon as awareness is there the more intense your awareness is the more delay will be there in the gratification of desires it is automatic there is no doer so we cannot really stop the desires from manifesting but uh, the awareness will give you a little bit of time to think and to find um, the best way to fulfill the desire and it will cut down the suffering caused by unfulfilled desires now you will see them as just activity and if one or two of them are not satisfied you don't really worry about these things if there is an a response from the lower layers that this is not being satisfied that is not being satisfied you become aware of that also yes this particular desire is not satisfied so what some other will be satisfied there are dime a dozen there are too many more than we need this will give some time to your intelligence and logical ability to perform only those actions that are really necessary if a desire needs to be fulfilled it is really necessary that will happen and that will happen in a most beautiful way most of our actions are just impulsive slavery of desires and you will find that they stop you become peaceful and people are going to notice this peace on your face and in your actions it will become really difficult for people to push your buttons now because they know what are your desires and what are what is your behavior and they manipulate you depending on what you desire your neutral attitude to the desires is going to get rid of such people from your life and you will find uh, that you get a lot of time which was wasted in uh, fulfillment of random desires now you have the freedom to utilize that time instead of doing the slavery of desires now you can fulfill those desires which are most important for you let the intellect decide what is most important for you and here we encounter the goal of our lives if your desire is in alignment with the goal of your life then it is worth fulfilling otherwise it's a waste of time most people don't know what they want the next desire yes it is mine and i need to fulfill it and they keep jumping like a monkey from one tree to another to get it done i want this this monkey business is going to stop as soon as you become aware of the desires